Good morning folks, my name is Dave Herbert and welcome to Mr. Herbert's Science Class. Today we're going to talk about the space station and the space shuttle. We're going to go outside and see if we can see it fly over. It's one of the brightest objects in the sky now. I've gone to the human space flight page at NASA. You can Google space shuttle and space station sightings and get times you put in the city where you live. Uh, today it's going to fly over here. This is Monday, November 5th at 6.24 a.m. It's going to last for three minutes and it's going to be 46 degrees high maximum and it's coming in from 10 above southwest to 43 above east southeast. Here's what we're going to see. Is it just on docks? It's going to go right over our state in Iowa. So we're going to go out and see if we can see it. This is a view from the pilot seat in the space shuttle of the space station as it is just pulled apart. This is the new module they just installed. Great shot of the Earth and the International Space Station as it flies over. shuttle is leading it right now. It's about 600 feet out from it and they're going to fly around it and inspect it. And then we're going to go outside and see if we can find it. The laser dynamic range imager providing this view from the orbiter boom sensor system on the space shuttle discovery. Now continuing through the next motion scanning sections 2 and 3 of 7 that are mapped out on uh, the wing leading edge. This uh, scan the first of the procedures today to scan all of the Discovery's reinforced carbon carbon material. First uh, the uh, wing leading edge on the starboard side, then Discovery's nose cap, and then the wing leading edge on the port side. Okay, here comes the space station and the show. There they go. Out of sight. How cool is that? This is in the Rockwell News Space Divisions magazine. That's Bud Perry. There's his name, designer and builder of the shuttle. There's my name, Dave Herbert, test pilot. And this was quite an amazing machine at the time. Uh, it had uh, lift augmented upper surf blown wing. Uh, we had variable pitch control thrust vectoring, uh, digital flight controls, telemetry, airspeed, engine RPM, stall warning, RDF rocket assist takeoff, coupled to retract gear, 15 and a half pounds of static thrust uh, with a 100 pound thrust solid rocket booster. Not only did Bud build the shuttle, he built a 50 wheeled transporter and security force with radio controlled trucks. It pulls the load at one mile per hour. Here, I'm going to show you how the model was built. We had a Birojet ducted fan on a Rossi uh, 
90 engine. It was putting out about 11 and a half pounds of static thrust. We had a 3.5 ducted fan uh, KMB in the nose to blow air over the surfaces for upper air bleed air and uh, to increase lift. And uh, there was a solid rocket motors on the back, three of them, and uh, that's basically how it looked.